Hi guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I want to show you how I make my wigs on a sewing machine. So unfortunately I lost the clip where I put the, the made my lines on the dome cap. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. If you've ever made a wig by hand, you pretty much do it the same way. And on my canvas head, as you can see, I have a line that kind of outlines the um, mimics like a hairline. So I always make sure that I place my wig cap along that line to make sure that the wig cap is going to fit. That particular line is suitable for about a 22, 21 and a half to 22 inch. But I also have another line on there that's good for 21 inch. And here I'm showing you the, the pen that I use. It's called the Jelly Roll pen. I usually get it from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So depending on how full the client wants their wig to be will determine whether or not I double my tracks. This particular client, um, we're working with three bundles and a closure of Kendra's Boutique Hair, and she really wanted to put all three bundles into this um, wig. So she wants it full, so I'm going to go ahead and double my tracks. I'm only going to double one bundle, and it's really important that you, especially when you're working with three bundles, that you double your tracks because... You don't want to put your wefts too close together. This is a very important key. If your wefts are too close together, your wig is going to be way too tight. Now, if you want your wig to be tight, then that's a whole nother story. But usually if you do about an inch space in between each line, that's usually about um, gives you enough stretch to where it can fit and um that's the reason why I said my wig will, this wig will fit between a 21 and a 22 because it has a nice stretch because I don't place my, my wefts too close together. So I'm just going to get, go ahead and get started placing the tracks. Um, I always backstitch. So there's a reverse button and I, I might make another video on how to thread the, um, the sewing machine but as you can see I'm reaching my hand up and I'm just like doing the reverse button so I'm just going along it's pretty much the same thing It's very repetitive just making sure that you seal in that um, at when you first start the stitch the row, next row, just make sure you back stitch and just really lock it in place. Just like you would when you were doing, if you were doing it by hand, you want to always lock in your, your thread. You want to do the same thing on the sewing machine. So I'm just always at the every end, I always back stitch in re, or hit it in reverse and that locks it in. You'll also notice that as I go along, I kind of curve especially once I get to the top I pretty much kind of curve the wig cap the dome cap to the shape like I almost like put it inside out and you'll kind of see as I go along more so towards the top the bottom is more so straight but as you get to the top you'll see me kind of curve the dome cap inside out in a way that way it kind of gives like a nice shape so I do like one inch at a time, stitch like maybe an inch, kind of slow it down and just do another inch. That way I'm getting it um, even onto the line and making sure that I don't have any buck, um, buckling either. Also important to note, I always cut my wefts. You don't have to cut your wefts, but I feel as though it gives you a flatter install when you do it that way. And I really don't feel like it makes the hair shed any more than um, if you were to cut, were to fold it over. Especially if you're working with good virgin hair with good wefts. This hair, like I said, is from Kendra's Boutique. Their wefts are very well put together. So cutting the tracks, really, it's really not going to make it shed. Especially, like I said, if you're stitching it with a sewing machine, it kind of seals in the wefts for you because.
So to make sure that you're on the right track for the right fit, you wanna just maybe periodically just put your wig cap on your canvas head and I'm lining it up to the line that I have on there to make sure that I have the right fit.
So when I'm doing my um, elastic band, I change my stitching to a straight stitch instead of zigzag. Um, I really don't have any rhyme or reason why I do that, honestly. I just feel like I just need like a nice, thin, um, narrow stitch. So, I don't know, it just works best for me to do the straight stitch. So here is the final look. The hair is still a little damp. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can join me on my next video.